In this video, I'm going over my first impressions of the new Fitbit Versa 2. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the new tech that's coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, hidden features, and how to's, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. We're going to keep it short and sweet and just go over some of our first impressions of the new Fitbit Versa 2. So far I've been pleasantly surprised with the Fitbit Versa 2, seeing a lot of new things in terms of the operating system as well as uh, some new very distinct features from the Fitbit Versa 1 which you see right in front of you. So one of the first big things I noticed that I'm in love with is the always on display which is a new feature that will allow you to always have the time showing on your screen no matter what's happening. So right now the screen is actually uh, considered off and in the off mode, the always on display will come on where you'll be able to see the time, the date, the battery life. You'll see an indicator of how you're doing with your steps and you'll see this other icon that I believe has to do with your activity level. So really cool. You've got this always on display. You don't even have to flick your wrist. It's just always going to show the time. This is something you can turn on and off in the settings. I've opted to turn it on because it's just more convenient. And uh, I've longed for the smart watches to have a feature like this where you can always have the time showing like a real watch does. So definitely excited about that. That was kind of the first big thing that stood out. The second thing, once I was able to get Alexa linked up with it, uh, tested that out a couple of times. So you basically just hold down the power button for about one second. And that's what launches Alexa and then you can ask it different questions. So I did ask it um, a lot of different questions just to really get an idea of how it works. And some of my observations are that uh, it's great for on the go activities. For example, asking it to set a timer or an alarm for you or a task. I even tested it out where I was able to order something on Amazon that I frequently order. Um, like I order these things called Lara bars and so I just said hey order more Lara bars and so it found a previous order I made for those add it to the cart and you basically give one more command that tells it if you want it to if you want to buy or not and it made the order for me automatically so it was cool to see a feature like that I could definitely see myself using that not a ton but it's cool to have one of the things that was not as exciting is that you're not getting a full Alexa capability or you basically can't control all of your Echo devices. For example, I tried to use the voice assistant and say, play music in the house or one of the normal commands I would say to my Echo Dot that I have set up in my kitchen. And it doesn't communicate with those devices. It's independent of your other Echo devices. So. Basically, it links with your Amazon account, but it won't link with your other Echo devices. And obviously, this is the first day this thing is out, so maybe in the future they will add that functionality. But for now, you get sort of a limited selection of things you can ask. Um, you just can't connect directly to a device you already have, or you can't control any device you have in your house. So. That was just kind of the takeaway. I was able to ask some really cool questions about, oh, when is the next football game on? What's the weather like today? Things like that, and it's it's very responsive. I love that it's a very quick response time. It is linked up with your phone, and so it's pretty surprising that it it grabs it and it really gets your response. Just to show you, um, we'll try a command on screen so you can see for yourself. When is the next NFL game? So you figure that was about three seconds. So it shows us the next game is going to be Thursday, Titan versus the Jaguars, blah, blah, blah. So I thought it was really cool that how fast it can basically send that command because basically it's sending the command to your phone. Your phone is searching it and your phone is sending it back. So definitely was impressed with uh, how fast the, the link is. There's not a big lag in between. I could definitely see myself using that feature. So, although I was disappointed you can't control all your devices, it's still very handy and useful. So, that was my second big takeaway of using it just for the first day. 
And my third takeaway is just looking at the operating system and how things have slightly changed. So swiping down from the top here, you actually have this, these new menu options here to control music, your uh, Fitbit Pay, or your controls. So you've got uh, these, these quick settings here that will allow you to do uh, a night mode that basically will, um, well, I'll show you, it's a sleep mode, so you won't have any uh, distractions. It dims the screen down. The screen doesn't come on when you click your wrist. You have a quick uh, control here for the brightness. You have a do not disturb as well. You can turn your always on display on and off here. And you can also um, activate or turn off your screen wake. So I really like this uh, follow up because these were a lot of things that you had to control in the settings. You had to go do five or six steps to get from the main screen to settings, to scroll down, to change. So adding those as quick options are uh, a very convenient and very needed uh, addition. So very happy with that. I'm gonna continue to test it and play around with it and I'll do a full review very soon. So stay tuned for that. But overall, I like what I see so far. I think Fitbit has definitely stepped it up and you guys should definitely consider taking one of these. If you liked the video, hit the like button down below. Leave a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and have a good one.